break in. Other questions for Coach? Ready for the final four? Final four, I got my tickets ready to go. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Coach Dumpy, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you. around to uh, answer more questions and, and mingle as we'll, uh, as we'll coach Bradshaw here, but it's time to give some stuff away. Uh, that's, uh, that's something that usually wakes a lot of people back up, you know, with, after we're all done. But uh, before we do, you know, again, Temple, very, very impressive accomplishments, not only academically, athletically, socially. The university, uh, if you uh, have not heard, uh, but we're proud to share, recently completed a, uh, a its first comprehensive fundraising campaign, a comprehensive capital campaign for the entire university, had an original goal of $300 million, and you all helped us raise $380 million on an original $300 million goal. We wrapped that up December 31st. Over the next 10 years, really over the next nine or so years, nine and a half years, Temple is engrossed in a campus master strategic plan called Temple 2020. And one of the purposes of this 2020 strategic plan is to really help complete the transition of Temple from a commuter-based institution to a residentially-based institution. And as Bill mentioned, over 13,000 Temple students living on or near campus. Right now, that number could close to double over the next 10 years, thanks to dorms, upper-class residential, village, apartment complex, etc. And we're building the infrastructure on our campus to handle those extra students on campus in terms of dining space, parking space, recreational and wellness space. As Coach mentioned, the Pearson McGonagall Hall renovation is not just a basketball practice facility, which is very important to us, but it is a $48 million total renovation of those buildings. Broad Street will become the center of our campus moving forward in the next 10 years, and the distance, both north and south, between Temple and Center City and Temple and the Temple University Hospital will continue to shorten, at least feel shorter. So this is a $1.2 billion potential investment in the infrastructure and the growth and the plan for our campus over the next decade. And of course, we'll need some more help, which is why we know that every one of you will take our phone calls when that time comes. Now that we've buttered you up, let's give some stuff away. Kate Kemery, our Associate Alumni Relations Director is back. She's gonna hold up items and I'm gonna pick the names out and, um, and come and get these prizes. Our first one is a game-worn, an authentic game-worn Temple football jersey. And uh, that is exciting. No name. You can Actually, we leave the name off there because we want you to be able to put your own name on there. But Theta Floyd, oh my God. right there. Hey. Oh. Take care. is Friday, September 3rd, 5 o'clock. <laughs> to get there. Our next prize is a temple, kind of a summer, very California cool kind of wicking uh, shirt. Good for the golf course, of course. Good for out to dinner. And uh, Edie Davey, if you are here, you've got it. Our next prize wow. Wow, is temple. Notice the, uh, the logo on this shirt. This is another kind of cool fit wicking shirt. <laughs> Temple Athletics is proud to announce a uh, five-year five -year relationship starting July 1st with Under Armour. We uh, have had been an Adidas school and will be moving July 1st to Under Armour, one of the top up-and-coming apparel manufacturers in the country. Temple will become just the seventh school in the country to have an all-sports partnership with Under Armour. So we've got a shirt. For Stacy Warner. Stacy, you got it. You're here. Congratulations. There you go. Former Temple Cheerleader. Former Temple Cheerleader. Woo! Next up, another Temple shirt, courtesy of our alumni office. It's very cute. That is a girl's female shirt, so. So I hope it goes to good use, but hopefully not by Douglas Stram. Douglas <laughs> well, I, I hope you've got someone in your life. He's gonna get a job. Here you go. Let's just say what you do on your own time is. Oh, wow. All right. Next up, the 2009-2010 Road to Indianapolis March Madness shirt. 
commemorating uh, our participation in our third straight NCAA basketball tournament, Jennifer Gurney. Jennifer from Allen Mathis. Haven't all of our prizes so far just been very appropriate for the person that's won these prizes? Very good, all the way through. We've got a Temple alumni hat, again, soft fitting cap, George Kirkpatrick. George, yeah, big winner. That. You'll take that one. Congratulations. Thank you. Next up, what do we have? Another hat. We've got another hat, red hat. So if George doesn't like his color, you don't like your color. Bonnie Levin. Bonnie, if you don't like your color, trade away with George. I know we could have used a few of these yesterday. <laughs> Golf balls, as uh, Marty took us out to his lovely course, Temple Owl Club golf balls, uh, courtesy of, of, well, us. We, we brought them. Uh, Joel Levin. Now, can we, have, can we have two from the same family? No, but before we give those to Joe, what's our vote? Two from the same family or no? Yes, yes. There we go. Any Eagles fans in here? Any Eagles fans? to unfold that shirt if she can quickly do that because this is one of the hottest selling items on our campus right now the temple philadelphia eagles t-shirt oh we just got kind of mocked out the eagles logo and faden and faden you got that shirt what is it about this kid? Here we go. we've got a few more Three more. Three more. Everyone likes the uh, the coffee mug. Dana Sheridan, you've got that. The sweatshirt blanket. Perfect for a day like today. Nice and chilly outside. Kristen, rush to end up. Here you are. All right, the only person at this table who hasn't won a prize is Victor. All right. Victor gets a prize. <laughs> An autographed Fran Dunphy Temple Whoa. University basketball. Now listen, the rule is this, this cannot end up on eBay. <laughs> especially with Coach here, so if you win it, you, you love it. Maurice Mann. Maurice oh. Mann. Oh. Got it. Any more raffle prizes? <laughs> Listen, folks, one more thing, folks. One more thing. We, we have, have just given you uh, stuff, and congratulations to our winners. But everybody here has the opportunity to take home a few parting gifts. You don't have to leave now. Right, Marty? Okay, you're not kicking anybody out. Okay? But everybody needs to take at least one or two of our tea for Temple U. Rally towels. Everyone needs to take a Temple mouse pad on your way out with the comfy wrist pad that you can have there. Everyone needs to take or find one of these to put in your home. And we flew out Tasty Cakes just for this event. They flew first class. We did that. They did that. But everyone needs to take a few Tasty Cakes home with them as well. Stay as long as you want. I don't care. It's not my house. Thank you, folks.